All right, here we go. Final unit in the ECG course, level one. We'll do a few more things related to STEMI identification in the level two and level three courses, but here we go with uh, three lessons in this final unit. The diagnostic quality lesson, the ST changes lesson, we'll talk about leads and walls. This one's on diagnostic quality. And this may seem like a minor detail, but it's really important because you cannot make decisions about ST changes unless you have the correct frequency response. What's frequency response? It is the uh, amount of filters that are applied to the EKG. It's how fine analysis can you make. And so you need a diagnostic quality EKG, which in the field is going to mean a 12 lead, in order to look for ST elevation or ST depression. And I'll make this point about 12 times and end with this point. If you see ST elevation in a limb lead EKG, a non-12 lead EKG, it may or may not really be there. If you don't see any ST elevation in limb leads, there may be some there and you can't see it. You've got to be in diagnostic quality. How do you know if you're in diagnostic quality? Well, in the field, you do a 12 lead. They're always diagnostic quality. You may have a monitor that has diagnostic quality capability on your limb leads. How would you know? You would look down at the bottom of the strip <clears throat> and you would see the frequency response printed off. Diagnostic quality is going to have a zero and a decimal. It's going to have a decimal point and a zero. I'll say that again. Diagnostic quality is going to be point zero something, whereas monitoring quality is not going to have a zero. It's going to be point five or something like that. And you can see very clearly in those examples where it's printed for you. Monitoring versus diagnostic EKGs. When you look at the same EKG on a person in monitoring quality, and then again in diagnostic quality, different things will show up. Diagnostic quality is where you can determine ST elevation. Monitoring quality is great. It works in the limb leads. It gives you rate and rhythm. There's not going to be any difference in the rate, any difference in the rhythm on a diagnostic quality EKG from what you're seeing in monitoring quality. It just, you can't look at ST segment analysis unless you're in diagnostic quality. There's all kinds of junk out there in the field, all kinds of interference that causes artifact, and so there are filters in place to help you with limb leads get a good clean tracing that you can read for rate and rhythm. It's just you cannot then also use that for all pieces of analysis. Now you can use it for measurements, you can use it for RPM, but you're going to need that 12 lead for ABC. <clears throat> Diagnostic quality is by default on 12 leads. And so in the field, if I want to see ST changes, then I need that 12 lead. I need the number of views to look for axis and bundle branch and, and fully look at the EKG for conduction system defects. But if I'm looking for ST segment changes to try to diagnose STEMI off of the 12 lead, I cannot be looking at monitoring. I've got to have diagnostic quality. Diagnostic quality takes off all the filters. However, that means that more, the more artifacts going to be getting through. Here's an interesting uh, diagram, an interesting schematic. Um, and I like how it's not in focus on monitoring quality. You can see that QRS, but the rest of the stuff is really, you know, kind of filtered out. But then you, on diagnostic quality, all the various interferences are now seen. So you see all the junk, but you can make fine analysis of the ST segment. Another very good summary, side-by-side -side summary of monitoring and diagnostic quality. And so diagnostic is what we're looking for. You're going to get a little more artifact, but then it will let you look at ST segment changes. And that's what you get with a 12 lead. So the very, very key point here, which I've said five times, or maybe more, you can, may think you're seeing ST elevation or ST depression when you're in monitoring quality, but it may not be present when you really get a good diagnostic quality EKG. So there you may see stuff that's not really there, but more importantly, you may not see anything in the limb leads. And that does not mean you can say the patient's not having a STEMI. If you have a patient by the roadside complaining of chest pain, and you hook them up on limb leads only, 
and you say, well, I don't see anything, your heart looks good, <clears throat> that's not okay, because you've just told that patient an untrue uh, statement. They may still be having trouble. You've got to get that diagnostic quality. And I'm not making up that call. I was on that call. I watched people with paramedic licenses. I wouldn't say they're paramedics, but they are licensed as such. And they made that determination. So it may be that you're working with folks right now. You'll work with preceptors who are under the false impression that they can run a quick lead to limb lead EKG. And if they don't see anything, well, then the patient's okay. I only need that 12 lead if I see something in the limb leads. That is just flat out wrong, and it's dangerous for your patient. Diagnostic quality is what you need to do ST segment analysis.